It seems I just can't get away from calling these uh, people. I noticed my senator from Washington State is with the public lands, forest, and mining on public lands um, through the Department of BLM. So um, they're called the U.S. Senate Committee on Energy and Natural Resources. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is call and ask some questions. Uh, phone number is 202-224-4971. And I would like some questions answered. We'll see. You guys want to leave me some questions to ask these people? Uh, do it on Google and I will ask them. Committee on Energy and Natural Resources. Um, hi, I have a few questions. Do you think you could help me with that? Um, I will try my best. What can I help you with? Okay, um, I understand that this is a committee for public lands, forest, and mining. And this is on public lands, right? I'm sorry? All right, um, I'm calling, what, what number I called was the subcommittee on public lands, for forest and mining. So this is public lands, right? This is, this is the um, Committee on Energy and Natural Resources. We do have a committee on, or a subcommittee on public lands, forest and mining, yes, but um, there isn't a separate number. We just have our full committee front office. Okay. Um, th this is my question. Um, you know, they're running the, the guy off his land in Nevada. He's on public lands, BLM lands. And, uh, I, I had been thinking about this, you know, you guys go out there and you uh, uh, frack and uh, uranium mine and stuff and, and you get water and sell it to other countries and stuff off our public lands and yet he grazes. Um, now, I'm not going to really get into the grazing part because I think he's done nothing wrong because before the BLM was even there, um, he had he has papers include the Indians even said that um, that he had papers that uh, allowed him to do that but my problem is is if you're you guys are making money off of public lands by the the uh, the shell oil reserves and uh, the minerals you know and fracking and the water rights wouldn't that be returned to the pu it's public lands wouldn't the public receive some kind of um, money back from that since it's our land? Um, I unfortunately don't have an answer um, for that for you. Um, what state are you calling from? Washington State. Okay, so the best thing to do would be to probably call the senators from your state. So um, Senator Cantwell is actually on this committee, so you can let her know how you feel on this issue. Just here at the committee, we don't generally take constituent comments. So um, I am happy to transfer you to either um, Senator Murray or Senator Cantwell's offices, if you'd like. Um, well, which one would answer the phone that I could talk to? You know, for, for five years, I've never got to talk to one of them on the phone. Do you know which one I'd probably be able to talk to? I have no idea, but... Each of them have a staff that I'm sure will be happy to take your comments. Well, the staff always says we can't answer that. So um, uh, probably um, uh, Patty Murray doesn't seem to like to answer any questions. So Maria Cantwell, let's try her. Okay, I'll transfer you. Um, hi, I was reading on the subcommittee on public lands, forest, and mining, and I know that um, uh, the president just gave one point, uh, I think it's one and a half billion dollars towards uh, public lands, and it's for mining and the and you know fracking and the water and mineral rights, 
And I was wondering, since this is public land, does the public receive any of that money back that's going to be made off of that? You know, I actually don't know whether I'm qualified to answer that question for you. But I do know... I do know that there are some good resources either online that might be able to answer that question for you or on our website too at cantwell.senate.gov. I went to all the websites. Nothing answers the questions. Well, the question is, will the public, since the government is going to be making money off of corporations, how does that money trickle back down to the public? It's our land. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, would you give me one moment? Let me check for you. Okay. Sorry about the music, guys. I'll tell you what. Um, but what I can certainly do is I can take down your concerns about it, and I can pass your message along to the senator. Okay. You know, you know, I've called for five years trying to talk to Patty Murray or Marie Cantwell, and neither one of them has ever, not once, returned a call. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I know they're busy and stuff, but we are their constituents. They represent us, and they've never once called. Of course. And, well, and as a matter of Another alternative, ma'am, is actually sending a letter to our office. I know that we do respond to our letters in response letters um, to anything that comes in through our office. So mm -hmm. uh, we'd be more than happy to hear from you that way. You can either uh, go onto our website and submit your letter there or send us a letter to 311 Heart Senate Office Building. Okay, I've sent a, can I tell you something? I've sent a letter and an email. Let me tell you what I, I figured out you guys do. You pick keywords out and you send, I mean, I will get an email back. I, I can punch an email and get one in five minutes back from you. It's like you guys use keywords and it won't even be about what I've asked about. That's why I'd like to talk to somebody in person. Um, it's It's like this government's gone crazy. This isn't even... 20 years ago, things wouldn't be ran this way, and I'm pretty old, um, and, and I'm finding this, you know, really disheartening. They're running some men, a man off his property in Nevada. He hasn't done a dadgum thing wrong yet, and that's, I think that's a distraction because of the $1.1 .1 billion that corporations are going to, and, and it also says they're going to use that, um, establish this uh, fee where it's like a 501c3 where, um, you know, they don't even have to pay taxes on this, you know, our own federal government. So it, it, I, I'm really concerned that they're going after the little guys and smushing us, and yet that's a distraction while they rape and pillage the rest of America. And I'm not trying to sound mean, but that's what it's starting to sound like to me. Well, ma'am, I've definitely taken down your concerns today, and hopefully the next time that you call, we'll have a response for you specifically on this matter. Um, we really do take your call seriously today, uh, and we really do appreciate that you have taken the time to call. All right, when should I call back? Because I would really like a response to this. You know, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take down your information, if that's all right with you, and we can see whether we can get a response. But I would, I would suggest maybe sending another email if if you'd like um, to get a more direct response to this issue. No, because they just tag words and they'll say, oh, we're glad that you approve of our what we're doing. And I've never wrote a letter that I've approved of anything you guys have done. And that's the kind of response I get. Okay. Well, what, I'll, what I can suggest is maybe try giving a call back early next week. And I'll see whether there, we, can, we can figure out an answer. Okay, and, and I have one more thing to say. Could you guys leave the, the, the little Clyde Bundy, the last rancher there alone? Could you just put a thing into uh, uh, Maria Cantwell to say, leave him alone, man. I'm a far We used to be a farmer. We used to be organic farmers. And, uh, and I'm also indigenous, and, and you guys find, found a way to wipe us out. So, I mean, you know, as long as we're not producing and paying, you know, high rates of taxes, you wipe the little guy out. So why, why don't just one time let this guy go? I mean, that would be the most honorable thing you could do. Could you pass that on? I would certainly love to pass that on for you. Thank you so much for your call today. Okay, I'll be calling back. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, take care. Uh, bye-bye.